सो वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर समत खान डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन आबिदा इनामदार सीनियर कॉलेज वी आर स्टार्टिंग टुडे विद द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एडवांस पीएचपी टोटल नंबर ऑफ चैप्टर्स आर फाइव इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ एडवांस पी चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग इन पी The first topic that we have is classes. Classes are the blueprint of object. Basically, classes is a programmer-defined data type which includes local methods and local variable. Classes collection of object classes properties and behavior. The syntax that you can see on the screen, opening and closing PHP tag. Under this tags, we have defined the class. person with the keyword class and in curly bra in curly brackets the code that has to be executed we define our own class by starting with the keyword class followed by the name you want to give to your new class followed by a pair of curly brackets all its properties go inside the curly bracket we enclose a class using curly brackets just like you do with the function for example you can see that we have declared a class fruit the two variable we have declared as dollar name and dollar dollar color we have given this public why public because this is accessible throughout the program that's why we have taken the access modifier as public now in this class we have defined two functions function net set name with the argument that is dollar name and second one function get name without any without any argument in the function set name we have taken dollar this variable which is referencing to the name variable after that we have object object are runtime entity classes are nothing without object we can create multiple object from a class each object has the property and methods defined in the class but they will have different properties and value objects of a class are created by using new keyword now it is very much compulsory that whenever you are creating an object it should be created with new keyword In this example we have taken variable that is dollar apple and dollar banana which are the instances of the class fruit so basically student in this example we have created a class fruit with the keyword class we have taken two variable dollar name and dollar color again we have taken function now in this function we have taken uh, two function that is set name get name now we have created an object that is dollar apple equal to new fruit new fruit is new is uh, basically we are creating object and fruit is nothing but my class so we have created two object dollar apple and dollar banana which is referencing to your function that is set name and again to the get name next topic we have that is introspection introspection is the ability of a program to examine an object's characteristics such as its name parent class if any properties and methods with introspection with introspection you can write code that operates on a class or object basically introspection is like where we identify a characteristics name of parent class if there is any properties of methods whatever function we have written it will identify its behavior its properties Intro introspection functions in php class exist get underscore declared underscore classes get underscore class underscore methods get underscore class underscore where's get parent class get object is object get class so basically students these are the functions that comes under introspection each and every function has its functionality 
for example first one we have class underscore exist it takes class name as string and returns a boolean value depending on whether that class exists or not it's the syntax of this is dollar existence underscore status equal to class underscore exist and there we have to just pass the class name so student basically this function will be used when we have multiple classes for example we have 100 classes in our program and we have to just check whether this class exists or not so we will just pass the syntax and we will pass the class name for example if i want to search the class fruit and the class fruit is not declared so after passing the syntax it will just check whether that class exists or not so if the class fruit is present it will give you the boolean value that is true and if it is not there it will give you the boolean value that is false second one we have get underscore declared underscore classes this function returns an array of classes defined using this array we can check if a particular class exists or not the syntax of this function is dollar classes equal to get underscore declared underscore classes so basically this function will show you the different classes that are declared next one we have get underscore class underscore methods this function returns an array of method names defined in class also which are inherited from super class syntax is dollar method name equal to get underscore class underscore methods and class name next function we have that is get underscore class underscore wares this function is similar to get underscore class underscore methods but it returns an associative array in which the keys are the property name in a class and values are the respective values of each property syntax is get underscore class underscore wares and class name next function we have that is get underscore parent underscore class this function returns the parent class name of class passed as argument syntax is dollar super class name get parent class name in the bracket we have to pass class name next function is get object wares requires an object as parameter and return the property of an object the syntax is dollar object underscore where equal to get underscore objects and where next function we have is underscore object this function is used to check if a parameter passed in object or not it also returns a boolean value syntax dollar object underscore status equal to s underscore object and dollar object next one we have get underscore class this function is used to class corresponding to an object passed as argument syntax is dollar class underscore name equal to get underscore glass and the object that we are passing so student we will just stop with the session one a quick introduction what we did in chapter number one we have started with what is classes what is object and we have seen introspection with their functions we will continue in the second session Thank you.